How to flirt, my man? Hi, this is Alice McRae. I'm a social dynamics instructor. And on behalf of expertvillage.com, today I'm talking about picking up women in bars and clubs. There is no way this is real, right? Flirting. What is it? The basics of flirting is to convey through certain ideas and emotions that you like someone else and hopefully that the other person likes you back. Now, who are the best flirts in the world? They're actually little kids. What? Now, why oh! What? No! Why did he? What the f? What? Yo! What? Dude, dude, Chatter said, this is my first day on Earth. This video is super helpful. What? No! <laughs> oh, no. FBI, open up. Oh, no. Let him finish? Let him finish? Okay, dude. I mean, I don't need him to describe... Dude, dude, dude. Homie just said a sequence of words that pair up with his fucking soul patch so perfectly that I know, I know he loves Ayn Rand, okay? I mean, this dude is the most libertarian energy. Why is that? Well, for one thing, they have the best imaginations. If they're playing in the sandbox and they're talking about some fantastic place that they can go in the world, they're using their minds to put themselves in a place that's just the two of them in their own special world, using their imagination. Also, little kids- He's in fearless, jail, right? This kid's- They realize at such a young this age- This kid's in jail, right? I mean, this kid, this dude's in jail, right? Like, for sure. I mean, he's, oh God, what a, this is serial killer energy. Age that they have nothing to lose. They're comfortable with themselves. They're willing to take things to the extreme and be comfortable using their own imagination. One of the keys to flirting is to actually let the other person know through your voice and through your smile that you are flirting. Because a lot of the things that adults say that are flirting can be taken the wrong way if you don't convey them with energy and fun. In other words, if I see a girl with blue eyes, I might say, Wow, your your eyes are, are like blueberries. Wait, can I actually? Can I actually? I'm kind of hungry. Can I? Can I have? That's one thing that you could go into, that is fun, and will will get a girl giggling within moments. But now notice what happens if I don't smile. What the fuck? Oh no, he's not gonna do it without smiling, bro. It was bad enough with the smiling. Oh no. But now notice what happens if I don't smile. And if I bring my energy level lower, and if I if my voice tone is flat, hey, I really like your eyes. They're blue like blueberries. Can I touch them? Can I have them? I'm hungry. It's just strange. So remember, to let people know that you're flirting, have a big smile, high energy, and make sure you're having a good time. If you're having a good time, it's like okay. It's good that we're ba uh, showing this video because like I would rather have this dude tell incels to avoid women rather than this also it fit the bill a little bit better when he wasn't smiling because like smiling is like serial killer that's gonna kill me not smiling is like oh this guy's really fucking creepy he's gonna kill me but like he's definitely not gonna do it right now i can get away smiling implies that the intent is there and the willingness is there and he's hiding a knife i think likely that you'll put other people around you in a good mood so how do you flirt one way to do it is through role play for example, I might imagine that me and the girl I just met are actually husband and wife and we're negotiating a divorce. So I can say, babe, you know, I'm sorry I had to do this. Sorry I had to break this to you here, but it's over, you know, you know, 10 years, I had some good times, but you know, you can keep custody of the kids. Um, you can keep the house. I'll, I'll keep the dog because you know. This is how he imagines himself breaking up with his wife of 10 years. What is going on? Who fantasizes about a 10 year relationship and a divorce that comes after immediately after meeting a woman? Serial killers. But also, who the fuck would like who would divorce like that? Even your fantasy's fucked up, dog. What the fuck? Fix your fantasy. Buddy, I train Buddy myself and you know, he's a good dog. So, bye now. Have a good life. I'm sorry this whole divorce thing worked out this way. See, that's one thing that you can go into that's a little strange, fun, and it puts you in a situation that would take you years to get into in real life, and you just met this girl. So remember, you can role play situations 
that are fun and unusual. Another way to do things. What the fuck is fun? What is fun about divorcing? Your 10 year wife and your children and, the, and immediately giving the custody of the kids to her. For good reason, of course, but this is the type of shit that makes me understand the fucking men are trash rad femmes, you know what I mean? Is take things to the extreme. If I mention blueberry eyes, I might just say that off the cuff. But I'll take that to the stream of, what if her eyes actually were blueberry? What if I was a chef? What if I wanted to make a blueberry cake? What if the blueberry cake- A homie is straight up talking about ripping your eyes out of its sockets, dude. Cake won the world's fair of being the best blueberry cake in the world, and it was all because of her eyes, but now she has a medical condition because she doesn't have any eyes anymore because of the blueberries. And you can see how all these things can just build and build and build into funny situations that are quirky because they start from something so simple. So remember, have fun, role play, and remember the kid in you who's a great flirt. Yo, he hit every angle, dude. That's crazy. Okay, don't be a serial killer. You might want to do that. You might want to be a serial killer, but don't do it. Okay. Oh no, not the grocery store one. Flirting really is a conversation that's playful and uh, playful and fun, with sexual undertones or overtures. So when you're joking around with a girl and you're flirting with her, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Obviously, physical contact is important so that she knows that you're interested in her more than just for conversation. Second uh, is you know the mechanics of specifically how to flirt. So teasing somebody in an area that they're comfortable using a prop in an area. So, uh, ace bandages. All right, here is exactly what you need. You need one of these, uh -huh. and uh, you can actually wear it outside of your jeans. No way. Yeah, seriously, you would look so What? What is going on? Wait, what? He's like, dude, hey, look at these sick bandages, dude. <laughs> Wanna fuck? Oh, cool. With an ace bandage over your jeans. You'll set a new fashion trend. Yeah, I might. I'm pretty cool anyway, though. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed. He's, it's, a, it's in the bag, dude. He, he, he already fucked. All right. So we're using a prop as something that's obviously playful, obviously not serious, but it's something funny that she can think about and joke about. And at the same time, I'm complimenting her fashion sense. It allows her to compliment her own fashion sense. And I get to be playful and joke with her about it. Second is a misinterpretation. So taking something that she says the wrong way. So, are you getting ready to get out of here soon? Yeah, in a few minutes. I've been shopping for hours. You have been shopping for hours. <laughs> yep. What did you need that took you hours to find? Are you having that much trouble finding stuff? I had to get a whole lot of ace bandages. And what are you doing with ace bandages? Wouldn't you like to know? Mm-hmm. So, What? Oh, what's up, dumbass? What are you, fucking stupid? Looking for bandages? What are you gonna do with the bandages, huh? What are you gonna do with the bandages, you fucking whore? Ah! <laughs> what, what, what is she gonna do with the bandages? Wouldn't you like to know? Why is she making bandages sexy? What's happening? Now I do wanna know. I wanna know what she was gonna do with the bandages. What's sexy about bandages? Mmm, <laughs> yeah, cover up those open wounds. <laughs> Don't let them fester. <laughs> she talks about ace bandages and I misinterpret, leave it open to interpretation as to what she's talking about with ace bandage. But again, the core foundation for flirting is be playful, be fun, and use physical contact to your advantage. Yeah, yeah touch her, dude. It definitely touch her. Well, my friend, it's time to step up your flirting game. Role playing. This one is awesome because it creates this context and this frame of a fantasy world, which means you can flirt with her. You can tell her how much you are in love with her even, but it's just a joke. It's not real because it's a what? role play. For example, if you role play that you're getting married or that you're role playing that your boyfriend and girlfriend or it's like one of those epic romances where you're so in love, then she could go to the bathroom and you could say, darling, don't leave me. You're gonna be gone for so long. What am I gonna do? I know that sounds a little cheesy, but it's fun. It's playful. It's so different than what other guys would do in the bar where they're just what? I want to know if there's ever... Yeah, minus one, dude. Minus one. Minus one. Um, um, that's fail RP.
I wonder if a single person has gotten pussy doing any of this shit. There's no way. It's just like, it's it, it would make people so uncomfortable. He obviously got pussy using these techniques. Otherwise, he wouldn't be making this video. Yeah, everyone knows it's illegal to lie on the internet. Just like, hey, so how's your night going? You come here often? What do you do for work? And in a marriage role play, which is one of my favorites, you can get away with talking about so much. Talk about your future relationships, where you would travel together, painting these pictures in her mind of you and her together. You know what? I like you. We're so gonna get married. Instead of having a long engagement, we should just find my friend. Actually, he's right over there. He's in- Bro, the death grip? What is going on? Imagine you meet a girl at a bar and you fucking grab her hand and say, I like you, we're gonna get married. That's insane, don't say that, don't do that. An ordained minister. And you can also talk about very risque things because you're a married couple now. In fact, a few times I've taken my dates into adult bookstores after we've done this marriage role play, and I'm just like, come on honey, we need to spice up our romance. And I start whipping her with some of the whips and pick out some toys for her, and it's really fun and really that did not happen. You know why? Because there would be a news article about man kidnaps local woman. It would be in the local news, okay? Look at his eyes. Really ramps things up to the next level. Ramps it up to the level of going to prison, dog. Balance your interest. Balance the showing interest by taking it away. You're saying, hey, I like you, but I'm not sure about you. Or with touching, it's, oh, you touch, but then you take it away. You should never be like, I like you, I like you, I like you, I like you, touch, touch, touch. But the key is that the touching is in context. If you're completely touching her out of nowhere and it's not relevant to the situation, then it's gonna seem creepy. So here's a few. I do not understand. He's just like, oh, that's creepy. It's like, no, that's not creepy. That's just, that's a, a crime, okay? What you are, what you are talking about is a crime. Two ways to touch her where it is in context. First, there's greeting touch where you shake her hands, but to make it flirtatious, shake her hand and hold it longer than normal while looking into her eyes or give her a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Whoa, no! Yo, women love when random guys hold their hand and don't let go, they love that shit. Then there's also games like thumb wrestling or slap hands. And there's also conversational touching to emphasize a point when you wanna make something you're talking about seem more dramatic. You can also do correcting touch, which I love to do, which is when you fix her outfit or you take something out of her hair or you can even fix her posture and get her to stand up straight. Bad posture is a huge pet peeve of mine. Number two, I call the look of desire which is using your eyes to flirt with her oh my god he's gonna do it chat get ready he's gonna do it he's gonna do it with his eyes he's gonna flirt with his eyes trigger warning trigger warning he's gonna flirt with his eyes wee -woo, wee -woo. it's about to happen i'm letting you know especially ladies do not be alarmed you might find yourself wanting to leave your significant other right now Brace yourself. And almost every guy on our boot camps needs help with their eye contact initially. To really ramp up that sexual tension, practice not blinking. I'm doing it right now. What the fuck? you with my eyes. What the but fuck? I've noticed this. He said don't blink. Dude, that's it. Dude, he's literally giving you serial killer talking points, dude. This is literally like how to present yourself as a serial killer even if you have not killed yet. Also, stand a little closer than normal. That will increase that flirty vibe. Okay, dude, he's literally saying, so far he said, go up to a woman, hold her hand for a super long time, kiss her on the cheek, tell her you love her and you wanna get married to her, you fucking never blink and you get up close and personal after fixing their posture and their clothes. Okay, that's all you get. No more.